Hi, Shalom Aleichem. Uh, my name is Lazar. I teach Yiddish. I'm here in New York, currently in Central Park. The Kachka. Uh, if you want to learn Yiddish, maybe I'm the guy for you. The Cherepacha. Uh, I wrote my dissertation about the development of standard Yiddish, which I speak. The Gans. Shalom Aleichem Gans. I also know a lot about the, the dialects. Uh, Hasidic Yiddish, even though I don't speak it personally. The music! We can learn a lot of Yiddish, we can learn a lot of zusammen. we can learn a lot of art, we can learn a lot of text, we can learn how we can learn a hard script written with the hand, a hard ksav. Here are some important books uh, for learning Yiddish, if you're interested in that. Uh, there are lots of new resources. For example, there's this new textbook in Einem, which just came out from the Yiddish Book Center. Uh, it's beautiful, illustrated with audio-visual materials. Uh, it's really the new standard, I think. Uh, and it's two volumes. Um, yeah, it's a little expensive, $139. But uh, I think it's worth every penny. And it's probably the best new resources for learning. The best new resource for learning Yiddish. Some other ones, which uh, if you prefer, there's some other older ones or for, for different different levels. There's, well, this is a beginner's textbook only in Yiddish. That Unheber, this is a old textbook from the 50s. Uh, Shevet Zucker's book. Uh, this is also two volumes, this is only the second book. This is the intermediate version. Also has lots and lots of materials. Miriam Hoffman's book, Schlüssel zu Yiddish, or the Key to Yiddish. Uh, has an uh, enormous, <laughs> huge, uh, huge amount of material there. Uh, for those who are not interested in learning or reading in the in the Hebrew alphabet or the Yiddish alphabet, there are materials, uh, learning materials which which don't make you learn the letters. So, for example, there's the Complete Idiot's Guide to Learning Yiddish, which is a which has good grammatical material, lots of exercises and interesting stuff, and it's all written in a transliterated with, with, with English letters. Uh, and it's fun. I've used this. It's good. Uh, there's also a nice book of anecdotes called Reut de Pomeranzen. Uh, red... What is that? Pomeranzen. Uh, red oranges. <laughs> uh, red oranges, which is all these uh, lots of fun anecdotes and jokes written in transliteration. Uh, that's also a lot of fun to read. There are also uh, lots of books of songs. I just took here. These are the three volumes of Yiddish songs by Hannah Mlotek, uh, Hannah and, and, uh, and Yossel Mlotek. Uh, they published these together. Uh, these, these have all the, all the famous, all the greatest hits, all the greatest Yiddish hits, uh, written with Yiddish letters and in transliteration. So that, uh, uh, and they're, they're, a lot of, they're a lot of fun to read, even if you don't, if you don't want to learn the letters. Uh, other materials here, advanced textbooks. There's Yiddish Tzvei, Yiddish II, by Mordechai Schechter. Uh, very advanced, uh, lots of, it's a big book, <laughs> uh, lots of, uh, well, it's, it's, it's for advanced students. There's, if you're interested in old Yiddish, there's the Guide to Old Literary Yiddish, also came out just recently, uh, a few years ago, by Gerald Frakes. Uh, yeah, it's got glossaries, all nine yards. Uh, and there's this Yiddish, a survey and a grammar by uh, Shlomo Bienboim, or Solomon Birnbaum. Uh, which is also, I think, for more advanced students, it's got, it's, uh, it's a little bit funky, and it's the way he writes and explains things. But it's, it's very solid, and it's based on the Polish Yiddish dialect, which is the one he learned when he was, he was young. Some dictionaries which are of use. There's, of course, there's, of course, the Modern English Yiddish Yiddish English Dictionary, which is still the best, best student dictionary by Uriel Weinreich, or Uriel, Uriel Weinreich. Um... Yeah, that's the, still the one to recommend, even though it's a little bit outdated, it's from the 60s. There's the, the new Arum Nemek Yiddish English Werterbuch, or Comprehensive Yiddish English Dictionary, by Bainfeld and Bochner, uh, which, is, which is the best, uh, which is the best normal Yiddish English dictionary, if you're reading literary texts, things at advanced level, you want to have that. Uh, if you're interested, especially in the Hebrew Aramaic component of Yiddish, which is very substantial, especially in sort of religious texts. 
uh, then you'd want to have you'd want to have the Werterbuch from Lushen Kaidish Stamik Werter in Yiddish by Niborski uh, and these other people, <laughs> which has uh, not only has definitions of, of thousands and thousands of words, but also gives you the pronunciation, the Yiddish pronunciation, which is otherwise difficult to know, uh, unless you come from a very religious background. And also recently there's the Comprehensive English Yiddish Dictionary, which is based on Mordechai Schechter's work. Um, and it's got uh, more words than I've heard the dictionary, uh, but it's Yiddish English, uh, or I'm sorry, it's English Yiddish. So it, it's not good for if you're reading a text in Yiddish, it, it won't help you so much. But if you're writing something in Yiddish, it's it's the work to have, um, and it's online now, so you can actually use it for Yiddish to English in reverse if you want. There are also some other works, the things which are of interest. For example, there's the Yiddish Monopoly Handel Erlich, which is a Hasidic monopoly. Uh, I bought this many years ago, <laughs> and I think it's not available anymore. But it's uh, it's a lot of fun, a little bit scary, because it has you know it sends you to hell for speaking Hebrew and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's that. <laughs>